I got into the wine by accident, I suppose. My father planted the second vineyard in Margaret River, Mosswood. Um, and I started in the wine industry and I've worked a whole lot of places. These days I own my own label, which is SC Panel, which we're in the vineyard in, in McLaren Vale, specialising, I suppose, in McLaren Vale and Adelaide Hills wines. Focusing on Grenache and sort of new Mediterranean varieties, things like Tempranillo, Tariga, I make a Nebbiolo. I like sort of pushing the boundaries of what people think about wine. Prior to this life, I was the chief red winemaker for Hardy's or Constellation for nine years. So my um, parents owned part of Domaine de la Pustor in Volnay, and so a lot of my um, early days in winemaking was with, working with Pinot Noir. Um, but Pinot Noir doesn't really suit where I am these days. Um, it's influenced it greatly, I, I think, going to not only there, but I've worked in Spain and I've worked in, in Italy. Um, it's influenced it in the way that I think they make wine for their culture and I think, um, and their climate, I think that's, that's important. But for us, our climate is not France. And I think Australia for the last maybe 30 years is trying to be a France like much of the world, as to America to some degree. But what interests me is climates that are similar to where I live. So for me, Mediterranean climates from Portugal, Spain, southern France to a degree, but Sardinia, Sicily, and even Greece. I mean, looking at Zinamavro is a wonderful variety. And, and this, these cultures had grapes even before the French. So I often quite think about, you know, the French would have been like us at some stage. They never had the grapevine. So I, I think it's... <laughs> We're moving away from being France, and my time in France gave me the option to see that. Uh, yeah, I left Hardy's, and I was looking after 280 million bottles of red wine per annum. So, um, yeah, I, I left because I was starting to lose my passion for wine. Um, I was making, I was teaching people about wine making, but my knowledge um, stopped from where I stopped making wine, and I really wanted to get back to making wine with my hands. And not only that, I mean, making wine that I really love to drink, not just to sell. Um, the commercial element of, of large corporations is, is important, I suppose, and it's always going to be a factor, but also the success in terms of competitions um, and appreciate and sort of garnering journalists' attention is what I was driving, and that, that was the style. That's not what I'm interested in doing. Um, I'm very selfish and myopic about making wines now that I like to drink and I think the rest of it will take care of itself if that's the case. I'm interested in starting to use varieties that come from a climate very similar to where I live. So um, I live by the coast, very Mediterranean. So I think the application of varieties that, are, that originate from those sorts of climates, like Sardinia, Sicily, as I said before, will fit here. And in a vintage like 2008, we had 37 degrees for 17 days in a row. Um, that's an enormous heat wave and, and I saw varieties like Grenache and Turiga Nacional stand up to that better. So I think these varieties require less water, less fertiliser, which is very, very important um, in terms of runoff, um, and get better natural chemical balance. So they're more suited to living here.